Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. As you may already know, or if it's your first time, the best method to get a price estimate from us is via email. So today we're going to be discussing exactly that. What are the best practices for sending in a clear and concise email when you're trying to obtain an estimate from us? So generally you're best served emailing us rather than calling as we've got nothing meaningful to go on from a phone call. We can't see the images of your paintwork, for example, from a phone call. So that's why an email is best. We get many examples here of emails that just aren't clear enough and we then have to go for a prolonged process of trying to get the information that we need in order to best um, and most accurately give you an estimate. So today we're going to be giving you some tips um, for how to send in the best email possible to get the most accurate estimate from us. So tip number one, please make sure the damaged area is clean. It's extremely difficult for us to estimate accurately if you've just taken your photo after your epic Sunday ride and the frame is covered in dirt. Tip number two is to make sure that your images are clear and focused. Take the image in a well-lit environment. It's really hard to see the damage in some images where the lighting is dark and dingy in your garage. Go outside and take them when it's daylight and that way any damage that's on there will pop up much easier for us. So next, we need to be able to see images of the carbon damage from all around the respective tube. So make sure you get lots of angles when you're taking images. We need to understand how far externally it appears to extend both longitudinally and laterally. But at least if we see externally how far it appears to extend, we can give you a, a rough range. So the next tip's a bit of a strange one, and I imagine that some of you guys do this before you hear of us or if you're just trying to confirm it's carbon damage. But if you've watched this video before you've done that, please try and avoid sanding your damage back. The paint is the best indicator of a fracture, and by sanding it back, it makes it significantly harder for us to uh, discern the extent of the damage. And if the area isn't carbon damage, then all you've achieved is you've ended up needing to pay for a paint restore that you otherwise wouldn't have needed. please can we try and get some images of the entirety of the tube in terms of paint. That way we can see the entirety of any graphics that are on that tube, how many colours there are, what colours there are, and that way our pricing estimate for the restore will be as accurate as possible. Please include a synopsis of how the damage came to be. It really helps in our diagnosis and we know what to recommend as chances are we've probably seen the type of damage that you're emailing in about before. We know for example if we should recommend a health check before any repair work is undertaken and we also can discern if we need to check other areas of the bike that may have been damaged from the fracture that you've sent in depending on the type of impact that it has experienced. Next, it's always good to know what brand and model of bike you're writing in about. All makes and models have their own quirks and intricacies and we may have seen your damage that you're emailing in about before on the same model or brand of bike. Any additional information on your experience of the frame is always good. For example, any minor accidents in the past or if you regularly take the bike abroad, sometimes it's very, very useful in our diagnosis. Please use the correct terminology of custom respray and restoration, and there is a difference between them. So, a custom respray is defined as repainting the bike in its entirety in a new or existing colour scheme, whereas to restore means to make good certain localised sections of a frame. So, in our e email estimate, that is just for a localised area. And then finally, a full restoration is making good the entirety of the frame in its existing colour scheme, but without stripping all of the old paint back and respraying it. So as always, if you like what you're seeing on the channel, then please like and subscribe. It really helps us. And also you'll get a notification each and every time we post on the channel, so you're always up to date. And if you've got any questions or comments, then please stick them below and we'll see you next time.